TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday morning, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. We've got a mixed market to start things off, some earnings action as well. Right now, you have the S&P positive by eight, trading at 3,085. NASDAQ, uh, let me get those numbers up for you. I believe that's on the close on yesterday. I had them. We'll look at the futures. As to the futures right now, we have the S&Ps negative by three points. There we go, trading at 3,083. NASDAQ futures negative by 13, trading at 8217. Dow futures flat, trading at 27,667. Oil contract getting some negative action. Oil negative 91 cents at 56.24. The 10 year, quite a rise in that 10 year yesterday, currently sitting at 1.95%. And gold pulling back as well. We get the gold contract right now down five dollars at 1460 start things off let's jump over to the charts we'll start it off with the indices dow jones trading 27,669 back things up to yesterday's action quite an acceleration to the upside on some trade optimism dow made it as high as 27,734 off that level just a bit nasdaq 100 trading at 82.18 we were up there just after 7 a.m at 82.36 there's your S&P 500 trading 3,083 early this morning within the last couple hours. We were up there at 3,088. If you back things up to see where we were for a high yesterday, actually made it to 3,097. Looked like we might get a 3,100 uh, print at one point, but not quite yet. There's crude oil trading a bit lower this morning. Crude trading at $56.17. You get the gold contract pulling back as well. It was actually under 1460 within the last couple hours. Now trading just above that level. And the euro US dollar trading at 11030. In terms of what else you have happening out there, it was all about trade optimism yesterday. That being paired towards the late in the day, as you saw some hesitation from the US counterparts. The headline this morning rollback of China tariffs faces fierce opposition in the White House. So that kind of counteracting what you heard from the Chinese side yesterday. We'll see how that plays out. And how about Disney? Crushing it after the market, beating across the board. Disney Plus streaming is going to be on Amazon devices. And check out that Disney stock this morning. Looking to open dramatically to the upside. Closed at 132.96, trading above 140 right now for Disney. Stay tuned, folks. we got a man, Larry Pesavento, coming up live right now with Trade What You See. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom, live programming all day. We'll be right back, folks.